Welcome to another video once upon a story. I'm Princess Poppy from Trolls. I'm so happy to be here today with you. This is so exciting! <laughs> today is a very special day. It's one of my best friend's birthday. Guess who? It's Branch's birthday! I can't wait to celebrate! And of course, we are going to have a party! A super extra mega party! And he's gonna love it! Uh, maybe he's gonna love it! Uh, I'm gonna love it for sure! <laughs> and it's going to be a surprise for him! He doesn't know anything about it! Well, I hope he doesn't know anything about it! He might suspect something because he knows that I like celebrations and dancing and singing! <laughs> it's going to be absolutely brilliant! <laughs> now, I've prepared already the bunnies, uh, the balloons, uh, the cake is ready. Uh, what we are missing is a card. A birthday card. Now, if you know me a little bit, you know that I love art and craft. So I need to make a birthday card for brunch, okay? I make cards every time for every event, every day probably, and for sure they need to have loads of glitter in them. I love glitter, I literally live for glitter. <laughs> Okay, so let me see if I've got everything with me here. I'll show it to you as well, okay? So you tell me if I forgot something. Um, I've got card, Ooh, loads of cards, so I hope I've got enough, okay? Um, and then, oh, I cut out already some flowers. Yeah, I've done this already, so I might use them. Um, now I've got, of course, a pair of scissors. Need to be very careful with this. Um, glue, glue, PVA glue. Uh, oh, colors. So I've got these colours, um, oh, oh goodness, these colours, uh, I hope I like these ones as well, uh, I'm gonna use them all. And most importantly, I need glitter, lots and lots and lots and lots of it. Okay, let's see if I've got enough here, so this one, this one, I love this one, this one has got stars in it, and this, and this. And this, and this, oh, and and this, and this. Uh, you think I've got too much? No, never too much glitter. Okay, uh, we're gonna put it back. Stay there. I look forward to start this card. It's going to be super good. He's going to love it, I'm sure. Um, I'm thinking about glitter. It's not a real fan of glitter. Uh, oh, I'm sure he's gonna love it. <laughs> it's hard time. Well, now it's always hard time. Oh, absolutely. We are here to read the book, aren't we? <laughs> I was nearly forgetting that. Okay, let me show you the book that we are going to read today. <laughs> it's gonna be trolls! Of course, it's my story! And of course, we are, you're gonna meet all my friends as well. Um, ooh, that's Branch! And that's me! <laughs> uh, yes, I know, he's a bit grumpy here. Uh, but it's not as grumpy anymore. Oh, uh, you're gonna see it. <laughs> he has changed a lot. He likes singing and dancing now. And he has got a voice like an angel. He's so good. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't know him yet and you don't know me yet, please stay with me because I'm gonna read you this story so you're gonna know a lot more about us, okay? So I'm gonna start now, so see you in a bit. Bye! Once upon a time in a beautiful forest, there lived the happiest creatures the world has ever known, the trolls. They loved nothing more than to sing, 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 dance, 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 and hug, hug, hug all day long. 
Unfortunately, the troll's boisterous singing attracted the Bergens. Big, grumpy creatures who were always miserable. And only one thing could make the Bergens happy. Eating delicious trolls. The Bergens chopped down almost all the trees in the forest to build Bergen Town. They left just one tree for the trolls and put a cage around it. Once a year, on a holiday day called Trollstis, the Bergens gathered around the tree to eat trolls. It was the one day they could actually taste happiness. Young Prince Grisso couldn't wait for his very first Trollstis, when he would taste his very first troll and finally experience happiness. But when Prince Grisso bit down on a troll, all he tasted was wood. The trolls were thick. Where did the delicious trolls go? roared his father, King Grisso. Afraid of being eaten, the trolls had dug tunnels under their tree and escaped from the Bergens. We leave no troll behind, vowed their brave leader, King Peppy, carrying his torch of freedom. King Peppy helped every last troll get away. He even carried his baby daughter, Poppy, hidden in his long hair. King Peppy led the trolls to a wonderful forest home far away from the Bergens. King Grisso was furious with the royal chef and blamed her for letting the trolls escape. You are hereby banished from Bergen town, he roared, forever. Prince Grissel asked his father what would make him happy now, since there were no trolls to eat. Nothing, King Grissel answered miserably. You will never, ever, ever be happy. Many years later, after lots of singing, dancing, hugging and scrapbooking, King Peppy's daughter, Poppy, was finally ready to lead the trolls. But before that, they needed to celebrate freedom from the Bergens. And that meant it was time for the biggest, loudest party ever. All the trolls were excited about the party, except one worried troll named Branch. Your big, loud, crazy party is going to lead the Bergen straight to us, he warned. They are out there somewhere, watching, waiting, listening. While you make noise out here, I'll be in my highly camouflaged, heavily fortified, Bergen-proof survival bunker. It had been a very long time since anyone had seen a Bergen, so the trolls were tired of Branch's constant warnings. In fact, they were a little upset with him for spoiling their fun. But Crick, a calm and peaceful troll, said Branch was just trying to help. Branch wants to be miserable, Crick explained. But I want all trolls to be happy, Poppy said. At the celebration, all the trolls, except Branch of course, sang and danced. Turn the music up, Poppy called out. Grinning, DJ Suki pumped the music even louder. Poppy played along on her cowbell. More glitter! Poppy shouted happily. The trolls shined brightly colored spotlights into the sky. They fired the glitter cannons 
and set off a giant glitter explosion. Not too far away, in another part of the forest, the banished royal chef heard the explosions and thumping bass music. The alert Bergen peered through her spyglass and saw a burst of fireworks shaped like poppy. Could it be? she thought. After all these years of searching, have I finally found the trolls? Chef stomped into True Village. Boom, boom, boom. Run! Poppy yelled. The trolls scattered, but Chef managed to scoop up several of them, including Biggie, Mr. Dinkles, Smidge, Cooper, Fuzzbird, Saturn, Chanel, Guy Diamond, and Crick. After Chef left, Poppy led the remaining trolls to the safest place she could think of, Branch's underground bunker. She asked Branch to come with her to save her captured friends, but he thought that her idea was even crazier than having a big loud party in the first place. You are really going to Bergen Town on your own? Branch asked when he realized what she was determined to do. My father didn't leave any trolls behind, and neither will I, Poppy vowed. The forest between the troll's home and Bergen Town turned out to be darker and more dangerous than Poppy had expected. Before she knew it, she found herself stuck in a big spider web. And to make matters worse, giant spiders were creeping out of the shadows. Bonk! One of the spiders got hit in the head with a frying pan. They turned around and saw Branch, using his long hair like a whip. Snap! Branch drove the spiders off and rescued Poppy. Poppy and Branch headed toward Bergen Town. As they made their way through the forest, Poppy sang to make herself feel better, but Branch only scowled. Maybe you should try singing, she suggested. I never sing, Branch stated firmly. Never. They soon discovered a series of tunnels near the edge of Bergen Town. One of these tunnels leads to the troll tree, Poppy said. But the others lead to certain death, warned the talking cloud. Cloud Guy offered to show them the right tunnel if Branch would give him a high five and a first bump and a hug. Branch got so mad that he chased Cloud Guy, who led them all the way back to the old troll tree. Meanwhile, in Bergen Town, Prince Grissel had grown up and become king. Hiding in the troll tree, Poppy and Branch watched worriedly as he displayed their troll friends to the astonished Bergens. The newly unbanished chef announced a trollsty celebration the next night. That's right, King Grissel crowed. Happiness is back on the menu. In the Bergen's castle, Poppy and Branch crept down a chandelier to spy on King Grissel. He was trying on his old trollsty's pip which was far too tight. When Cooper giggled, King Grissel realized there weren't enough trolls for a trollsty celebration. To calm the angry king down, 
Seth popped Crick into his mouth. King Rissu left the dining room with Crick in his mouth. Seth turned to the scullery maid and barked. Bridget, lock these trolls in your room and guard them with your miserable little life. As Bridget wheeled the trolls away in their cage, Poppy jumped onto one of her apron strings. Branch had no choice but to do the same. Once inside Bridget's room, Poppy saw that the walls were covered with pictures of King Gristle. Bridget lay on her bed, sobbing. She's in love with him, Poppy told. Poppy convinced the lovesick Bergen to help her rescue her friends by promising to help her win the king's love with a new outfit and a new hairdo. While King Gristle was shopping for a new babe, Bridget walked into the store with the trolls on her head. They were using their magical hair to create a rainbow-colored wig. Impressed by her beauty, the king asked her name. Repeating after the hidden trolls, she answered, Lady Glitter Sparkles. King Rissel asked her on a date, right then and there. King Rissel and Bridget had a great time eating pizza and talking. With Poppy and Branch in her wig, whispering all the right things to say into her ears. Bridget captivated King Rissu. Then Bridget spoke from her heart. Being here with you today makes me realize that true happiness is possible. It is, the King agreed, opening his locket to reveal Crick. He was still alive! True happiness is a lot closer than you think. After dinner, King Rissel and Bridget roller skated together. As the two Bergens zoomed around the ring, the trolls in Bridget's wig held on for dear life. King Rissel liked Lady Glitter Sparkles so much that he invited her to be his guest at the Trosty's Feast. Yes, Bridget agreed, thrilled. Suddenly, Chef interrupted their date. She eyed Lady Glitter Sparkles suspiciously. Worried that she would be recognized, Bridget hurried away, dropping one roller skate. I'll see you at Trollstis, Lady Glitter Sparkles, King Grisso called after her, picking up her skate and holding it tenderly. Back in her room, Bridget was happy, until she saw the trolls leaving to rescue Crick. No, no, she cried. You have to help me to be Lady Glitter Sparkles. I need you. But you can't pretend to be someone you are not forever, Poppy said as they left to save Crick. Bridget threw herself on her bed and sobbed. Meanwhile in his bedroom, King Rissu got on his treadmill. He wanted to be in good shape for his next date with Lady Glitter Sparkles. The trolls crept into the bedroom and snatched the locket. But King Rissel's pet alligator spotted them. The trolls sped through the castle on a roller skate. Hold on! Poppy yelled. The scaly pet chased them, snapping his massive jaws full of razor sharp teeth. They finally escaped into the kitchen, where Poppy noticed the crick wasn't in the locket. Where did he go? She cried. As whom? Chef slammed the cage down over the trolls. 
chef sneered. Crick is going to lead me to the rest of the trolls. Poppy couldn't believe it, but Crick admitted he'd sold out his fellow trolls to save himself from being eaten. Believe me, I wish there were some other way, but there isn't, Crick said, reaching through the bars of the cage to take Poppy's cowbell out of her hair. Crick went back to the troll's deserted village and rang the cowbell. It's Poppy's cowbell, King Peppy cried happily. She's come back with the others. The trolls rushed out of Branch's bunker, only to be gathered up by Chef and her guards. Back in the castle's kitchen, Chef tossed all the trolls into a big cooking pot. I failed, Poppy said miserably. I got everyone I love thrown in a pot. All the colors drained out of her, but then Brunch started singing. Yes, Brunch! He sang about showing your true colors. And then something amazing happened. His true colors came out. Poppy was filled with joy and sang along with Brunch. Then her colors returned too. Well, Poppy said, we danced and hugged and sang, now what? The lid was lifted off the pot. It was Bridget. Now, you get out of here, she said. She'd heard Branch's beautiful song and just couldn't let the trolls be eaten. Go, now! The trolls ran off through the tunnels, but then Poppy stopped. She felt sorry for Bridget and for all the Bergens who never experienced happiness. At the Trollstice feast, Bridget admitted that she had let the trolls go. As Chef was about to have her arrested, the trolls stormed into the banquet hall on a roller skate. They jumped onto Bridget's head and formed themselves into the rainbow wig. Lady Glitter Sparkles? King Rissel cried, amazed. He realized that when they were together, he was happy, even without eating a troll. Poppy told the Bergens that all they needed to be happy was to hug and sing and dance. Poppy and Branch started singing and dancing, and soon everyone joined in. They all felt happy, except Chef, who was ejected from the castle. They've changed our point of view through the power of song and dance, one Bergen said. King Rissol and Bridget could not have agreed more. Back in their village, the trolls kept the party going. King Peppy passed Poppy the torch of freedom and placed the crown on her head, announcing our new queen. And they all lived very happily ever after, even the Bergens. So this is definitely a song that I'm going to add to my playlist for tonight. Now, uh, I wanted to show you something. I made the birthday card for brunch. I'm so excited to show it to you. Okay, are you ready? It's very glittery, I'll tell you. I warned you. Okay, so this is the front. <laughs> so it says, happy birthday brunch. 
And then, of course, there are some hearts poppy and bronze. <laughs> Flushing. <laughs> anyway, okay, I really want to show you inside. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> so excited! Okay, ready? Steady? Rainbow. Pop up rainbow. Pop up rainbow. Yes, of course, I'm gonna put more glitter in now. <laughs> He's going to love it. Not. But yeah, no, he's gonna love it. I'm joking. It will be fine. <laughs> okay, so before I go, I'm going to teach you some more words in British Sign Language today. And I was thinking to talk about parties, of course. <laughs> so we are going to talk about what to do during a party or what you can organize if you want to celebrate uh, a day with someone uh, in honor of someone. So let's start saying today is Brunch's birthday. How do we sign that? Let's see. We just said today is Brunch's birthday. And now we are going to organize, we said the party. So how do you say party? And then we can say what we do during this party. Well, there is gonna be a lot of dancing. And a lot of singing. And also we're gonna take loads of photographs with our friends. So friends and photographs. We're gonna play together, play, loads of games. Uh, we can play cards maybe? Mm, no, probably not playing cards. Maybe a bit of computer games. I know the branches like computer games, but I think it's going to be a lot of singing and dancing to be honest and then if you want to go somewhere with your loved one um, you might go to the cinema they might want to watch a movie so that's cinema and that's movie or you might want to go to a restaurant a nice restaurant nice restaurant or you might want to go to the theater or to a museum or to the zoo to see the animals so zoo you spell it and to see the animals or maybe you just want to stay home home and maybe you want just to listen to some music so that's music and that's listening or you might just want to watch TV. So, TV. Watching on the sofa, maybe, yeah? Or maybe you could just go for a walk, a romantic walk into the sunset. So that's romantic. That's walking. And that's sunset. So we learned so many words today. Oh, we've done so well. Okay. Now it's definitely time for me to get ready. It's nearly time for Brunch's birthday. I can't wait. Did I say that already? I can't wait. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. And remember everyone, if you want to read along in the meanwhile I read you the story, you can definitely turn on the subtitles on the overlay. Joy, the person that takes care of our channel, is the one that writes the subtitles for you. So they're all checked, they're all good. So please do so, okay? So you can follow me better. And remember that all our videos have got subtitles on, checked and correct, okay? So you need just to turn them on to follow our characters, to read along with them, okay? It's been such a pleasure being with you today. Thank you very much for staying with me and for listening to my story. And I hope to see you soon, okay? Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.